I think we'll see some betters overreact to Detroit losing last week and then Arizona absolutely lambasting the Rams 41 to 10 at home. And uh, it was an impressive performance by the Cardinals, but let's keep things in perspective. That's a Rams team that's hit, been hit hard with injuries. They lost Puka Nakua in week one. He did not play last week. And then Cooper Cup uh, early in the second quarter went out with an injury yeah. as well. So they're out with without their two starting wide receivers. Uh, Arizona hasn't won back-to-back games, Prez, since 12-13 of 2021. As a matter of fact, they're 0-8 straight up in their last eight after a win. Since 2022, Detroit is 4-0 straight up in ATS off a two-game homestand with Dan Campbell in charge. Here's the more important thing that Prez brought up, and it was a very astute point. Detroit coming off a 20-16 to home loss to Tampa Bay. Uh, the Lions under Dan Campbell are 8-0 straight up in ATS in their last eight after a loss. The average line, they were laying 3.9, and the point-per-game differential just a shade under 16 points per game they won those eight contests by. And let's also keep in mind, when we look at that loss last week against Tampa Bay, Detroit, you can make a strong case Detroit beat themselves, Prez, because they outgained the Bucs in that game by 247 yards. So that result is a tad bit misleading, although it is a loss. And that's all people are going to remember. Here's the other thing. Since 2019, all NFL road favorites of three or less, like Detroit, uh, they're facing a team that's coming off a straight up an ATS win in which they covered by 28 points or more, and they scored 40 points or more. Not a huge sample size, but NFL road favorites of three or less in that exact situation have gone 7-0 and straight up in ATS since 2019 with an average victory margin of 12.7 points per game. So, Theodore, you guessed it. I like the Detroit Lions here, laid a three on the road against Arizona. Are you worried at all about the Lions injury report? Uh, I'm seeing a bunch of problems for Detroit on the defensive side in particular, all three units. They got defensive line injuries, linebacker injuries, and injuries in the secondary. Arizona's moved the football pretty well the first two weeks of the season. Does Detroit's defensive injuries temper your enthusiasm at all? It's all factored into the line is the way I look at things, Teddy, although that is a pertinent point to bring up. And I stop worrying when I wake up in the morning and I know I'm alive for another day <laughs> to answer part of your question. In any event, yes, uh, it's to me, it's all factored into the line. Uh, you look at Arizona's defense, they've given up a ton of yards in the first two games. Even in the game against the Rams, they held them to 10 points, but they gave up a lot of yards. Uh, against a team that was depleted on the outside, like I just alluded to. So although uh, that is taken into consideration, there's, you know, it's not out of the question they could win a game like 38-34 here, you know, uh, and their defense could be uh, something that might o- almost cost them the game, but I just think Detroit's firepower on offense, the fact that they're disappointed in last week only putting up 16 points despite putting up over 400 yards of offense, I think that will outweigh uh, the injury concerns on the defensive side of the ball, Teddy. Uh, 